Archaeological evidence shows that humans have used tools like bow drills to treat tooth conditions since 7000 BC. So dentistry is almost as old as civilization. While we're not going to go that far back in time for this alternative method to using dental photogrammetry in full mouth restorations, we're going to be discussing another way to accurately produce them. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe to stay up to date on the latest and greatest in dental technology. I'm Alexander Wünsche from Zahn Technique Dental Laboratory based in sunny Miami, Florida. While I'm based in the US, I'm actually a German trained dental technician. This means that I have been trained in all specialties of dental technology with nearly three decades of experience. I bring in exciting content about what's new in dental technology. Follow along to learn and share what you know. In parts one and two of our dental photogrammetry series, we talked about how photogrammetry is used for full mouth restorations and the major systems that are currently available. Since photogrammetry might not be for everyone, I want you to know that there are other ways to successfully take records of a full arch implant case and still retain accuracy. One of these methods we are using actually here in Zahn Technique, and I would like to explain it more in detail. In our method, we use an iOS system to take all necessary records. On the day of surgery, we'll take a pre-op scan before we start, and then we'll take a scan of the scan bodies placed onto the freshly placed implants and or to the multi-unit abutments. This would be the implant or abutment level scan. After converting the immediate provisional either on the same day or for next day as a delayed loading, we'll take a scan of the adjusted provisional. After three months of healing, we can deliver a prototype and verification check as one piece to the first appointment post-surgery. The prototype delivered after three months is going to be used as the verification of the implant position and accuracy of scans versus printed model and confirmation of occlusion and aesthetics. If you do find a non-passivity, all we'll need to do is segment the prototype and relude it with the pattern resin. In the event that the soft tissue is not adapted to the prototype, we'll need to take a wash impression of the entire surface of the prototype. All these records then go back to the lab and as long as the changes needed aren't dramatic, we can go straight to finish or for another try-in. You see, with utilization of this workflow, we are able to go from start to finish for a full arch or full mouth and three appointments, including the surgery. However, if you have the OptiSplint, you can utilize that to take this workflow to the next level. The OptiSplint is basically a verification sheet fabricated on the day of surgery onto the multi-unit abutments. It is scanned after scanning the scan bodies and will need to be shipped to the lab to allow the technician to align the multiple scans more accurately. This also allows for verification of the printed model and the fabrication of a verified stone cast as a positioning model for analogs to be able to bond the tie bases correctly to the restoration. We also scan that stone cast with scan bodies to utilize it to fabricate restorations direct to the multi unit abutments without using a tie base. If you've made it thus far, thank you for watching and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel if you want to grow with the dental industry. After watching our three part series, which workflow do you see best for your practice and the future? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure to also click the notification bell so that you don't miss out our next video. If you're interested in seeing some of the work that my laboratory has done, be sure to follow us on Instagram, which I'll have linked down below as well. See you soon.